everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84, and today I am coming back at you with another player profile. If you're enjoying the player profile series, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button to help the channel out. It's very much appreciated when you do that. And any comments you've got, whether it be players that you want to see, players that you have seen, or any signings that you've made from the series, please leave them in the comments box down below. I like going through them and seeing who you've signed or who you want me to profile. So keep them coming. It's all good. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at a player who is a Norwegian defender. He is 17 at the start of the game and he is Max Norman Williamson. So when you look at him in the game, he plays for Christian Sund. As I said, he's 17 years old and stands at six foot three, which is a really good height for a centre back. His current ability starts off at 93, which may not look impressive, but I think this kid has got a lot of potential that you have to pick away at to get the best out of him. When you look at his raw stats, his technicals, he's only got heading, marking and tackling, which stand out. Tackling being 15, heading of 13 and marking of 11. So some really good base stats for a central defender, but the rest of the technicals there need a lot of improvement. When you look at his mentors, he's got aggression of 15, bravery of 16, decisions of 11, determination of 13, positioning of 13, work rate of 11. When you look at his physicals, he's got acceleration of 12, jumping reach of 14, pace of 13, stamina of 12, and he's not very strong at a rated 9 for strength. But I think that is something that, as he matures as a player, will develop along as well. So we are going to jump forwards four years into the future and see how he turns out. And you can see that he's now at Young Boys and it's 2024. He's 20 years old and he has started to develop as a footballer. His current ability has shot up to 134. He's heading, marking, passing tackling and technique up the best of his technical abilities still not fantastic there he has good aggression anticipation bravery concentration decisions positioning teamwork and work rate so everything you really need for a strong center back who is a good team player can read the game well and when you look at his physicals he has really started to bulk out there he has good acceleration agility balance his jumping reach is now 17 Natural fitness is good. His pace is 15, so he's not going to get caught by the ball over the top so much. He has good stamina and strength. And if you look at his player traits, he dwells on the ball a little bit and does not dive into tackles, which could be good in the long term. When we look at the games and game time that he has played, he actually left Christian Sun to go to Juventus under 23s for 3.2 million. He didn't play a game for Juventus, but when you look at his Christian Sun form, he had average ratings of 7.12, 7.27 and 7.29, meaning that he's getting better and better all the time. He actually went to Young Boys on loan for 1.3 million and he's yet to play a game there too. When we look at his scouting report, and this is a scouting report that I've got whilst managing Aston Villa. I was doing a trial run for a project there and just decided to use their scouts whilst I was there. You can see that in terms of the players that they have rated him against, he is a three-star full potential ability player, potential four stars. He is as good as Tyrone Mings at the moment, but could develop past Tyrone Mings. He could develop to be as good as Dennis Popov and Nico Schlotterbeck. When you look at his pros and cons as a defender, you can see that he would adapt well to living in another country. He's really good in the air, has impressive jumping reach. He's a fairly ambitious natured player. He's a fairly consistent performer. He can play in a, good, a couple of positions. He's a current international. He's very one footed. He lacks determination which can hinder him in certain situations. He has a competitive streak, which can occasionally lead to him bending the rules. And he would find it difficult to adapt easily into the core group of the squad, but would fit into a secondary group. When we look at his analyst page, you can see that Aston Villa rate him as a 67, current, currently operating at a Premier League level, would be a good signing. You can see that their ratings 
there are for him. So looking at how he develops as a player, I think that if you can get Max Norman Williamson for the kind of money that Juventus did, he's a steal because he will be able to play in the Premier League or any of the top leagues in Europe without any problems. His stats don't look fantastic. And it may be a case that he still has a lot more development. He's still only 20, so those stats may all catch up with his current ability. But it's something that if you want a project for a defender, you can just pick him up, slot him in, maybe work him gradually into the under-23s, maybe play him in cup games to begin with. And I think you've got a bargain by so that's my player profile on Max Norman Williamson. He is a defender that I think you can go out and try and buy on the cheap if you can get him for the same kind of money that Juventus under 23s did. Go down that route of maybe developing him as a youth player to begin with, bringing him into the first team, blooding him in with cup games and maybe give him a run of first team games. You should see his current ability start to rocket. And I think he develops into a really sound centre-back. So if you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed the content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know that I'm doing a good job. And it's the kind of content that you want to see. Any players that you want to see profiled, put them in the comments box down below. And I'll try and get through as many of those. But for this one, that's a wrap. Till the next one, thank you for watching. Take care.